from Silicon Valley, California. This is Fresh Dialogues. Hello and welcome to Fresh Dialogues. Today I'm going to interview K.R. Sridhar from Bloom Energy. To seize and lead and be number one, that is what America is about. Can you explain that comment and um, whether you feel with Bloom Energy that's part of your motivation to, to lead and thrive and be number one? Absolutely. Uh, we want to be number one simply because the mission of the company, and you, you would have seen it as you walked in in posters, is we fundamentally want to change the world. Uh, this is a mission about changing the world because energy is the passport to a better living. And for the rest of the world that do not have that does not have access to power access to electricity to give them that is empowering them to a better life so you if the solution works and you make it affordable and you can distribute it all over the world then definitely you've changed the world so the motivation is that if that's the motivation and that's the goal and you achieve that goal clearly given the size of the energy market uh, given how big it is, it's in trillions and not in billions, and given how many people that you can impact with this kind of a stuff, this has to be a prominent company. Uh, so I would say being the number one corporation is an offshoot of achieving your larger mission, which cannot be just counted in dollars and cents. So that's what makes me... Uh, feel really good about what I'm doing because you can do good and make good and not have a conflict between those two. I mean, we were living in fast-paced Silicon Valley. People want to see results and, you know, I, I'm aware that you have a lot of pressure. What is your just big picture timetable? Well, as any entrepreneur, as any missionary who wants to do something big, uh, you will find in co one thing in common in all of them. There's a sense of urgency. You feel you, you feel like you need to do it faster than humanly possible, and you somehow believe that, and you push it. Not necessarily because you get there, but by having that sense of urgency, you get there faster than anybody thinks is possible. Uh, but this is a big scale issue. Uh, the size of this market the size of what needs to get done is larger than what people normally think about. This is not a microchip. These are huge devices, uh, need to be built in very large quantities. And if you take automotives, if you take anything else and see its penetration and how long it takes to build and how long it takes to build factories, how long it takes to build the factories that can build the machines for the factories, these things don't happen overnight. Uh, so it's going to be faster than conventional energy people think it's going to happen because they think in decades and centuries and don't think anything is going to change. It's going to be slower than what the bits and bytes people in Silicon Valley think because it's not like software that you're just going to write and then copy it 100 times over or a million times over instantly and distribute it's going to be a happy medium in between. So you're looking at within a decade as, as opposed to within a century, but you're not talking about eight quarters. You're talking about longer than that. Thank you for listening to Fresh Dialogues. This is Alison Van Diggelen. For more lively interviews with many more leaders, go to freshdialogues.com. With special thanks to Carol Pecora for technical support and Kevin McLeod, who wrote and produced our music. Music